Welcome to Chesterfield Royal Hospital. This video will explain how to get the most out of your antibiotics. <coughs> Hello Mrs Collins, come on in, take a seat. Hello. How are you today? I don't feel very well. I've had this horrible cold for three days now. I feel absolutely terrible. I'm sure I need some antibiotics. Stop. Coughs, colds and sore throats are often caused by viruses which cannot be cured using antibiotics. Your body usually clears these up on its own. I'm so sorry to hear that, but antibiotics actually don't do anything for a cold. The best thing I can advise is that you treat your cold with plenty of rest, drinking lots of fluids, and seek advice from your local pharmacist. They can supply you with some over-the-counter medicines to help. But of course, if you do feel any worse, or if you have any worries, you are more than welcome to give me a call. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I've had your results back and it looks like you will need a course of antibiotics. Are you allergic to any medicines at all? I'm allergic to penicillin. It made me feel really sick last time. Stop. Allergies are not the same as side effects. It is important to know the difference. This is because there are a limited number of antibiotics to choose from and knowing the difference between allergies and side effects will allow us to select the best option for you. Okay, did you get any rashes or any swelling or any difficulties with your breathing? No, it just made me feel sick. Okay, well that sounds like quite a common side effect actually, rather than an allergy. Try this penicillin. It should only need to be taken for a few days and it should clear up your infection quite nicely. Um, what I would say is that the side effects tend to stop pretty quickly after you finish the course. But if you really find you can't tolerate them, then just come back and see me. We'll try you on something different. That's great, I'll give them a try. Thank Lovely, you. thank you very much. I Thanks. hope you feel better soon. Thanks. I feel much better now, but I've still got two days of antibiotics left to take. I don't think I need to take them anymore. Stop. Always complete the full course. Even though you may feel better, some bacteria may still be present and cause you to become unwell again. I've finished the course now, but I've got some leftover tablets. What should I do with them? I know, I'll keep them just in case one of the kids needs them. Stop. Never share antibiotics. They are safe for you and your infection alone. They may be dangerous to others. If you have leftover antibiotics, take them to your local pharmacy for safe disposal. Is it Mrs Smith? Yes. Can I confirm your date of birth please? 11, 12, 18. That's super. I've got your antibiotics here. It's one three times a day for seven days and remember to complete the full course. Also bring back any leftovers that you might have. There's so many rules about taking antibiotics. Why is that? So in order for us to treat your infection safely and effectively, you need to take them as I've just described. It's to prevent any antibiotic resistance occurring in future. Antibiotic resistance? I've heard of that. Antibiotic resistance occurs when an antibiotic loses its ability to kill bacteria that cause infection. As a result, infections are becoming harder to treat. Antibiotic resistance is caused by simply using antibiotics. The problem is made worse when we don't use them properly. Without effective antibiotics to protect us, medical procedures such as chemotherapy for cancer or major surgery such as hip replacements and caesarean sections will become too high risk. Antibiotic resistance is now one of the biggest worldwide threats to our health today. It's important to act now to protect our antibiotics for the future. That sounds serious. What can I do to help? Don't ask for antibiotics for colds and flu. Ask your pharmacist for advice and over-the-counter remedies. Take your antibiotics exactly as prescribed. Never save them. Never share them. Tell your friends and family about antibiotic resistance and how they can join the fight to save our antibiotics. Here at Chesterfield Royal Hospital, the antimicrobial stewardship team is working hard to make your antibiotic treatment as safe and effective as possible. We do this by producing up-to-date guidelines, supporting doctors and non-medical prescribers to make the right antibiotic choices. We conduct daily ward rounds reviewing and advising on antibiotic treatment. We keep an eye on high-risk antibiotics using electronic prescribing system reports. We teach doctors, non-medical prescribers and nurses to use antibiotics effectively and responsibly. 
You can help us fight the spread of antibiotic resistance by listening to the advice given in this video. Thank you for listening.